Hi, I'm Jerry Seiki, Autoimmune Technical Trainer for BioRad Laboratories. Today in this video, we will discuss different methods to detect anti-nuclear antibodies, or ANAs, and describe the steps in an ANA IFA. Anti-nuclear antibodies are a group of autoantibodies that are produced when your immune system malfunctions and attacks its own tissues. In a healthy person, substances from your own body or self-antigens wouldn't normally provoke this type of immune response. But in a person with autoimmune disease, your immune system can't tell the difference between self and non-self. The ANA test is one of the most common clinical immunology tests and is typically a first-line screen in evaluating a person with autoimmune disease. Three technologies for ANA detection are IFA, indirect immunofluorescent assay, EIA, enzyme immunoassay, and MBIA, multiplex bead immunoassay. In this video, we will describe ANA by IFA. When performing an ANA IFA, you're trying to detect antibodies to nuclear antigens. HEP2 cells containing these antigens are attached to the microscope slide. Diluted patient serum is added to the slide. If the antibody is present, then the antibody binds to the antigens in the HEP2 cells. Next, you add a fluorescein label conjugate. The conjugate will bind to the patient's antibody that is bound to the antigen on the slide. If an antibody is present to the antigens in the components of the HEP2 cells, they will produce a variety of characteristic fluorescent patterns. The fluorescein tag allows you to visualize if an ANA is present. The analysis of ANA by IFA remains the standard for evaluating autoimmune disease because of the capability to detect a broad range of autoantibodies. A positive ANA test along with signs and symptoms can suggest the presence of autoimmune disease. While other methods have strong merits, the majority of labs still perform ANA testing by IFA. Thanks for watching and please visit our YouTube channel and see other videos in the Autoimmunity IFA video series. BioRad product information and contact info are in the comments below. Please let us know what you think and what topics you'd like to see in the future.